Sisters who watch. Sisters who watch. Sisters who watch. Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Hi. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hello. Welcome back to Sisters Who Watch. Yes. Uh, I'm Shelby. And I'm Laura. And we're sisters who watch everything. TV, movie, sports, concerts, and even another Spider-Man movie. There are too many. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, we love to watch, nonetheless. And we love talking about it even more. Today we're watching... Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the sequel to 2018's Into the Spider-Verse. Another sequel. It's a theme. Sequels, theme. remakes, yes, reboots, remakes. prequels. Yeah, that's a good segue into Plenty. the background. Yes. There are so many Spider-Man movies. I honestly think too many. I understand, like, the first Spider-Man came out in 2000 with Tobey Maguire and it crushed, so they've felt the need to keep rebooting it. First with Andrew Garfield, second with Tom Holland, and now they also have this animated sequ- series into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse. It's just a lot of Spider-Mans. And I don't know if they'll connect. It's hard to follow. No. They tried to connect all of them remember the oh, no way home yes which i liked Holland? i that thought was it good. was very like fun and nostalgic yes i thought that was really good but i remember we saw that movie also with our family and there was like it they made no confused. sense it was confusing i think marvel is getting into this rabbit hole it's like if you don't watch like every movie it's so hard you to keep understand. up and understand everything yeah so that's exactly how our family felt when they saw that movie and, and that's how our mom felt with this one. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> our mom felt the same way after watching this one. It was tough. This one was tough. Yeah. But, I mean, we were both expecting a lot from this movie. Yeah. Because it won an Oscar. The first one. Yes. Into the Spider-Verse won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, which was a shock because typically, like, a Pixar movie or a DreamWorks movie would win. So the fact right. that a... Sony and Marvel animated superhero movie one. Wild. Wild. Like, people were really shocked, but this movie took the world by storm. Everyone really loved it. And it was great to see a diverse superhero in right. Miles Morales because it was so good. We were expecting My a lot. My expectations were, like, sky high yes. for this one. And I think that definitely did not help. No. The movie. I uh, was also excited, I would say, in terms of expectations. I was oh, excited right. to see Issa Ray. I'm a big fan of Issa. And she had been promoting. She's going to be in Spider-Verse, all over her Instagram. But she was barely in the movie. <laughs> Very small role. Her role was small. I felt like they had her out promoting it quite a bit. And yeah, she wasn't in it that much. I mean, I think, like we were saying, the expectations were really high. And also, this movie had so many, like, A-list actors in it. Yeah. Daniel Kaluuya, Kaluuya, Brian Tyree Henry. Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. A lot. I mean, Hilly Steinfeld. There's a lot of big named actors. And it felt like the payoff maybe wasn't there. Yes. (laughs) Agreed. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like they, people probably have a sense of how we feel how about we the movie. How feel about the movie. <laughs> Oops. Yikes. Okay, so uh, those were our expectations. Yes. So let's get into the theme. So obviously family was really big because it's about Miles, this kid, you know, learning how to grow up and save the world and be a superhero, but his parents still have no idea. Yeah, they just want him to do well in school, apply to college. And be home in time for dinner. <laughs> While he's, like, fighting super villains in the streets. And the movie literally starts, um, well, Miles' storyline starts with his parents waiting for him at a parent-teacher conference meeting. And he's, like, out saving the day and gets caught up with who we find out will be the villain for the movie Spot. Um, but Miles is distracted and his parents keep messaging, where are you, where are you? So clearly, right off the bat, showing the different priorities and how that's going to be a core conflict of the film. Right. And we also see family with Gwen Stacy. And as we find out, family is a big storyline for all the Spider-Mans. How 
in their in every Spider-Man's timeline, you know, someone close to them, a family member dies, all this stuff, and Miles feels the need that he has to protect everyone, protect his family, but while still keeping the secret and frustrating his parents because he doesn't show up for his dad, he doesn't show up for the parent-teacher conferences, and it, it seems like he his priority is saving the world, being mm-hmm. Spider-Man, and neglecting his parents. Yeah, and I think the big thing is, if you're a superhero, keeping that from your family, that's hard. Yeah. And I think that's driving a wedge between them. Because they can tell something's up, and that he's not telling them something. Yeah. But he doesn't want to say that he's Spider-Man, so it's like a weird, a weird situation. It is. And as we kind of mentioned, fate and destiny are also huge in this movie. Yeah. Because it's about different timelines and the multiverse mm-hmm. and how for each Spider-Man, certain events has to happen for them to keep the timeline alive, the timeline safe. Exactly. So it, it's yeah. confusing. <laughs> this is another critique of the movie. There's a lot of moving parts. It's hard to follow. And it was a bit hard to follow. Um, so, and Miles is trying to change his destiny. That's where we're left at the end he, of the movie. Miguel, like, Oscar Isaac's character, is like, so, a police captain close to Spider-Man has to die mm. in order for the timeline in the multiverse to stay safe and yeah. not break down, etc. And Miles' dad just became police captain, police chief, and, um, Miles is like, wait... I, I can't let my dad die. Like, yeah. this is not going to happen. Miguel is saying if he does that, then he's going to destroy his whole uh, world. And and it's it's confusing. <laughs> Even as you're describing it, I'm, like, tuning out. I'm like, I don't... Can't, hard to follow. It's hard to follow. It's, hard to follow. it's And it's really hard to re-explain. Yeah. yeah. So, honestly, y'all might have to watch the movie. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> It's a complicated one. It is complicated. And it was long. Yeah, it was long. It was a long, complicated movie. It was long. Yeah, it's it's like Miles is trying to save his dad, but in saving his dad, would he destroy his whole world and therefore kill like Everyone? a whole world of people? <laughs> yes. So, but, but, but yes, <laughs> yes, save the one person yes, you know, it's or a save dilemma. the whole world. Exactly. Exactly. So what do you decide? So yeah, fate, destiny, big big theme in the movie confusing um (laughs) okay maybe confusion should be a theme (laughs) ouch ouch Um, what's crazy though is like there we saw it with our family yeah our brother loved it he loved it it was one of the best movies he's seen all year Mm -hmm. our mom didn't understand it thought it was one of the worst movies she and i am closer to my mom and my brother and how i feel about this it was, yeah. a li- it was just a little too much going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit in the middle. I thought it was really good, but... They're... It's getting great reviews. Yeah. Like, people are enjoying it. I just think you really have to be a Spider-Man Marvel fan yeah. to get the most out of it. I, I do agree with that. Um, but there were some good scenes in there that I enjoyed. Yes, what I really yes. love about this series is the animation is so cool and unlike... You know, Mm -hmm. any movie or TV show I've seen. Yeah. So it's really unique. So I love the Mumbadden scene with the Indian Spider-Man. That was really cool. Um, Mm -hmm. The graphics were just so fun. And the music was great. And there were just a lot of um, Easter eggs in there. There was like a little British colonizer joke. Uh, (laughs) um, Yeah, there was just a lot of... I, I really enjoyed that scene. It was fun. It was upbeat. I it was thought that different. was really fun too. Right. And I also like. I feel like that scene encapsulates the series as a whole. Of like why it's so diverse and inclusive. And I, I, I haven't seen anything like that in a different superhero movie. And I feel like they do a really good job of diversity, inclusion, and like making sure all types of people are feeling represented. Right. I remember in this movie, Shelby and I were like, wait. They're also black. We we're just so shocked. That character's black. That You're character's like, what? black. So shocked. Yeah, we could not believe it. Very so, diverse. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, yeah. it's about time because I feel like, especially Marvel movies, it's a lot of. It's not super diverse. No, All the it's main not. characters, like who's who's black in it's it? A black Don- Panther. Well, yeah, Black Panther. But like, <laughs> I'm thinking of like, yeah, beyond him, Don Cheadle, <laughs> Anthony Mackie. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I, I agree. It's refreshing to see, like, a really, really diverse story in the yes. Spider-Verse movies. Yeah. Um, but we also love Jake Johnson's character um, and how he's, like, a mentor to Miles, yes. especially his baby. The baby in this movie Him was so the funny. the baby the entire time when he's, like, fighting crime. And, like, <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. Related to Jake Johnson's Peter Parker, um, Miles escaping Spider-Man head HQ was really good. I really like that the, scene. I think the design and graphics were yes. the best in that scene. I agree. It was so visually stunning. It was really fast-paced, and you saw him going all over, running around, defeating all those people, and classic action movie. How did Miles defeat every single Spider-Man? Question mark? Yeah, like literally <laughs> thousands of Spider-Man. Right? From all the multiverses? All the multiverses, Miles was able to fool and escape. <laughs> no. There ain't no way. Yeah. No, 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 no. I thought that was... A little surprising. Very bizarre. A little surprising. But Jake Johnson's character, his Peter Parker, helped Great him. comic relief. Yes, great comic and relief for right. the baby. And you're right, looking out for him. Yes, so he had someone helping him. But yeah, that was bizarre. But it was cool seeing all the different Spider-Mans. Like, there's a T-Rex. Yeah. There are, you know, like, really tiny ones. Um, I remember, yes. I think there was someone in a wheelchair. It was, yeah, it was, was cool. There like was, a, a Lego movie one. Yes, the Lego movie one was good. Um, I like that scene. So, yeah, I will say, even though all the multiverses were confusing, it was cool to see each take on, like, Spider-Man. Yes. Yeah. That was interesting. I like that, too. Your, what's another uh, favorite moment you have? The family barbecue with Miles' family celebrating Jeff's promotion to chief. Yes. Or captain. Yes. That was a good... Yes. I agree. That was a good uh, scene. I liked that scene. The music. Um, because it was very New York. They are on a rooftop having a barbecue. And it just was showing the kind of like support and community that the Morales family has in Brooklyn. And it just like made me kind of happy. I agree. I agree. It was it was a good vibe. Very it showed that their family was really close and tight knit. But of course, Miles wasn't there. <sighs> yeah, he was off running around Gwen Stacy <laughs> and trying to fight crime. I know. And then was late to his dad's celebration. Tragic. And Tragic. his dad's like giving a toast and speech and is like, Where's Miles? Where's the cake? Where's, Where's the, the cake? cake? And it's like silent. <laughs> and then he finally arrives and the cake is destroyed. Yeah, and he has, like, has an attitude. <laughs> Classic. Like, this kid, get it together, Miles. No. His poor get parents. Get it together, his poor, poor parents. parents. They're just trying to do their best. I know. So that's a good segue to our least favorite moments. <laughs> um, yes. Because I know that Shelby felt very strongly about yes. this. I did not like the beginning at all because it opened up with Gwen Stacy and oh. her backstory. Ooh. So Haley Seinfeld's character. And I'm sorry, is this Gwen's story or is this Miles' story? Oh. Like it's not, it was so unclear. It was very jarring to have like the first, it felt like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. I kid you not, on Gwen Stacy and her backstory, how she was like in a punk rock band and how her and her dad didn't really get along and how she, everyone thinks Spider Woman is the one that killed Peter Parker, her best right. friend. And it just, I guess it was helpful to get her backstory, but I was really confused because it felt like the movie was about Gwen Stacy. Mm-hmm. and not Miles Morales. And I think what was really great about the first one is that it was about Miles Morales and his family and his upbringing and yeah. his community. So maybe make that clearer when you're promoting the film or in the trailers or something. Because then I feel like I'm getting tricked. Oh. Swindled. Because bamboozled? Bamboozled, yeah. Because I thought the movie was going to be about Miles. Mm. And then the first half is like about Gwen. And I will also say, it definitely felt like it was more of Gwen's story, because at the end of the movie, too, she's the one assembling the team, the team, and she's like, I'm going to save Miles yeah. and all this stuff. Yeah. So it, it definitely felt yeah. like she was at the head of this story. You know, she was it leading. It did. And my only... And it, maybe if the first one hadn't been so good and hadn't been all about Miles, I wouldn't feel this way. But I was... I was assuming the sequel to that movie would have been still focused on him. Right. And it wasn't. It felt like he was the B storyline and Gwen was the A storyline. Also, all the multiverse storylines and the changes and Earth this, Earth this number, Earth X, Y, and Z, 
it was very confusing. I, the thing is that I was able to follow most of it, but I remember after we finished the movie, we were all talking about we it. We literally had to explain the whole thing. Right. Mom. We had to, and also things Shelby didn't get, like things I didn't even notice. We had to explain everything to each other. Crazy. Marvel is starting to do a little too much with all the multiverses. Mm-hmm. Like, we saw that in Loki. We didn't watch the Doctor Strange movies, but that's what those were about. Like, it's just, it's getting a little unwieldy. Right. And can't we just live in reality for a second? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Marvel movie. We I, I guess not. There always we needs have to be to another lose universe. Reality. Yeah, there yeah, always yeah. Needs to be another universe. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. So I mean, much. we're big Marvel fans. We've seen a lot of the movies. I would say my fandom's waning, though. I, I do agree. Like, I, do I agree. haven't seen many of the Disney Plus shows. You're I telling haven't me, seen. You're telling me you're not a big She Hulk attorney at law fan? I'm not. I know. Shocker. Really? Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Who has seen that? I don't know anyone who's like, seen I that. Like, I didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't seen Doctor Strange. I haven't seen that. We The new Thor movie that came out last see, year. Yeah, like, we didn't I've, see that. I only saw, I think, Ant-Man. Yeah, we saw Ant-Man. That's the only one I saw. That was also about the multiverse. Yeah, and that was even, like, a lot. So. Yeah, they're really leaning into the They're leaning the into it, and I think they should lean out. I don't know. Back up. It, it might be too hard because they've already have their plan, right? Their phases and right. Like, I know, but I mean, especially without Chris Evans, where do we go from here? Literally, without Chris <laughs> Evans, I was a Captain America girly. Oh yeah, we love Captain America. Without him, I don't know what's gonna happen to this to this franchise. I agree. I I he think that important. Marvel's in a weird state right now, and plus Tom Holland. Apparently, Tom Holland's leaving too, and they're two of the biggest stars, Chris Evans and Tom Holland. Like, come on. Not, not a good no, sign. No, it's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. Not a good sign. Um, yeah, Marvel. I think Marvel might be in trouble. Um, so. And yeah, another thing I really didn't like about the movie. So I, I I enjoyed... It doesn't sound like we enjoyed the movie. Yeah, no. Literally, I, I gave enjoyed it a... It like a 7 or 8 out of 10? A 6. 6 or 7 out of 10? Yeah, maybe 7.5 out of 10. She's still higher on it. So she might give an 8. Might, I might right. give a 6. I liked the movie. I thought it was really good. I was in it, but the ending personally really ruined it for me um so i don't know about y'all but it was not we were not under the impression that this was a part one no no not at all i thought that was so bizarre not promote it in that way whatsoever no they should have been this is a part one like they did with harry potter like they did with uh avengers yes. infinity war did they did with hunger games too Yes, they did that they with did Hunger with a, Games. They did it with a lot. Why didn't they do that? The upcoming Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, they're like, this is part one, next is part two. Like, be really yeah. clear about it so I, I know what to expect going in. Right. Because the whole movie, they were there was all this build-up. It was up, a lot of build-up. And a lot of exposition. I was literally thinking, one, this is kind of long, and where is this going? I, I was like... Because I was like, this story oh, is yeah. so far from being resolved. Yeah. And then it ended... And it's just like Gwen Stacy's like I'm gonna save Miles, and, and then fade to black to be continued. I was so Shocked. disappointed. I was like, Are you That's kidding? That's the worst way to end something. This is how the movie ends. The worst way. I to was end. very. I I thought I know I was really enjoying the movie up until that point, and I was just like, What? Yeah. I it it kind of it ruined it for me. It really did. So. I just really did not like that cliffhanger. They need to be like, this is a part one. Yeah. Who are the marketing people? Yes. You gotta call Who them is up. marketing this movie? I, yeah, I really did not like that okay. ending. Okay. Well, I guess <laughs> enough of our least favorite moments. Yikes. Who did you love to hate in this movie? This is hard because I thought Miles was amazing in the first movie. Yeah. But I think in the second movie... Miles Morales fell into the classic main character syndrome. Oh, yeah. Where he was making bad decisions, lying to his parents, like yeah. just doing everything he shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Correct. Um, I think in the first movie, Miles was so fun and easy to yeah, root for. I yes. really enjoyed him. But this movie, I just, it was a lot harder to root for him. It was a lot harder. Because, of course, also the storyline was, I think, 
was flawed in the way that it was confusing to root for yes. because yes. they made Oscar Isaac's character Miguel kind of like the villain. Yeah, but he's supposed to be the head of all the Spider-Mans across yes. the multiverses. And protecting the multiverse. But Miles is like, I need to save my dad. Which, yes, is very notable. But if he hypothetically saves his dad, he's going to kill all these people in his timeline. Exactly. In his, multi- in his universe. And yeah. then he's also disobeying all the Spider-Mans, like... Everyone's keeping secrets from him. I just, I I think that yeah, Miles was not as likable this movie. But I also think he not necessarily yes, the storyline set him up to fail. He's yeah, wrong. That's fair. Damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. Is yeah. that yeah? I think that's fair. So, I don't know. I I didn't love He's Miles' in a tough movie. Spot. Yeah, He's in a tough spot. Um, I agree with you. Hate to hate. <laughs> Shelby, you know, Shelby has. I've already kind of dumped on this character, so I'm not going to spend too much longer. But I didn't like Gwen. No. Stacy. Really? Shocker! I know. <laughs> you must have heard the podcast so far and thought I really loved her. No, I just, it was too much. Make it, make it across the Spider Verse Gwen. <laughs> That's what it should be titled. Like, I at least want to know. Yeah. And. It was also interesting that, like, she was, like, the main white woman in the movie. And, but, like, the central, like, everything revolved around her. And I was mm, like, huh. Yeah, yeah. Interesting choice. Yeah, it felt like she was, like, at the at the crux at the of the cross, story. She was kind of almost like a white savior. And Yikes. I, it, that was also a little much for me. So. That's fair. She was like, I need to save Miles and yeah. save the the Spider Verse. Yeah, that's just that's very voice. fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly how she sounds. <laughs> um, Yikes. and in the first movie, it's more about it's more about Miles and his family and his yeah. uncle Aaron, who is you know the evil uncle, the villain, and at the end, he, he we makes he, an yes he makes an appearance in because a different in a well, different universe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh-huh. it's confusing, y'all. So Miles gets trapped in the universe that that, he, that his the spider that, that bit, bit him, him is from. from. <laughs> but he went there thinking, oh, that's where I'm. Yeah. Where I'm from. Yes, but yes. it's not. It's where the spider that bit him's from. Right. So in that universe, there's no Spider Man. Um, his dad's dead. Yes, and his uncle Aaron's still alive, mm-hmm. and his. The other Miles Morales is a villain. Yes, yes. So when Miles gets trapped in that universe, he meets his evil self, and he also meets his uncle Aaron, and that's the gonna torture him. Yes, and they kidnap him and stuff. So that's where the movie ends, basically. And then you see Gwen is like, "I'm gonna save Miles from the from the evil universe." Uh, So Uncle Aaron, I guess, evil Miles. I guess we hate to hate them. Evil Uncle, evil Miles. Again, it's unclear right? what's yeah. going on there. It's unclear. But, yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, so we're definitely rooting against them because we want Miles to come back mm-hmm. to his Earth. Um, and, yeah, the storyline was telling us that we should hate Oscar Isaac's character, Miguel. Yeah. He was very intense, not very yeah, likable. Yeah, he was probably the least likable character right. in the whole movie. I agree. Yeah, he was a lot. And it's tough because you wanted to understand more about him. Or root for him because he's like this head of this headquarters and should ha- it seems like he has a a purposeful mission like oh I want to protect protect yeah. the whole world and you know the different fight, timelines fight crime in different timelines exactly right but he's acting crazy yes he was um, on to what we loved and who we loved in this yes. film we have to say miles parents just do not disappoint jeff and rio oh, we love beautiful them beautiful couple they're so sweet and funny i know so supportive of miles so and his supportive. antics yeah after he continually disobeys him every time they were on screen i was like great i know breath of fresh hair of fresh yeah hair. i i agree i really really like them mm-hmm. okay so overall how are we feeling I this movie's tough because I love the first one. Mm-hmm. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. And I think for across the Spider-Verse, it was I think the expectations were really really high. And I think that it was meeting it because I love the animation and there mm-hmm. it's really fun, unique story. But I just thought the ending really ruined it for me. I was expecting a lot and then when it just ended, 
with no resolution and we weren't expecting that yeah. that was really disappointing i'm aligned but the beginning uh already threw me off with yeah. too much one stacy yeah and in the end it really just made it even worse <laughs> So it was like a bookend. Yeah, it was a Gwen, bookend. It's a Gwen sandwich. Start bad and bad is one. <laughs> and uh, so I, I'm aligned. Oh, no. I thought it was a little long. It was long. I thought it was too much Gwen Stacy. I thought it was unclear as a part one. And I thought the multiverse went off the rails. It, yeah, went off the rails. But I still think, to your point, it was very cool. It was diverse. It was, the graphics were exciting. So in spite of all that, I still think there was a solid movie in there, which is why I think it's like a, a six for me, yeah. a ten. But they could have made it better, for sure. Yeah, I agree. Sure. I agree. But there are people who definitely disagree with us. Yes, no, it's, it's getting, getting really great good reviews. reviews. People are buzzing about it. I think it's done pretty well at the box office. So not everyone feels how we feel. No, our brother loves the movie, but also people really hate the movie so <laughs> so wide range of opinions. yeah wide range of opinions um yeah but and like we said we think that it'll be interesting to see the future of the marvel cinematic universe the mcu because as we said a lot yeah. of its biggest stars are gone i mean tony stark he's dead apparently they could always bring him back some way oh, they do that and then chris evans captain america he left, he left. tom holland apparently has left like, where are the stars? No stars. There are no stars. Nah. So I think the future of Marvel, and I mean, we kind of talked about it, like, it's Jonathan dire. Major's, you know, role in the MCU is also up in the air. Oh, no. Like, we don't know if he's still, still going to oh, be a part gosh. of it. There's just a lot of question marks. Mm -hmm. And we feel like the content recently hasn't been that good. No. Nah. I saw the most recent Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought it was really good. But also, that was the last one. Yeah. Chris Pratt's now out. Yeah. Now out Literally, all the stars are gone. End of that one. Right. So, I think we're in a weird in-between space within the MCU. For sure. And like we said, the multiverse, that's what Marvel's really committing to. But we don't think it's a super successful storyline. Yes. It's off the rails. They gotta reel it in. The rails. Okay, so what are we watching on our What to Watch segment? Um, I guess the third movie of the Spider-Verse franchise when it comes Part out two. next year. <laughs> I'm, I hoping it'll be better. I have to I think hope. because yeah. the second movie was so much build-up and exposition and setting the stage that the third one is going to be better i really hope so it better have a really good like payoff i'd i'd hope so and you know i think you mentioned to me there's a possible live action spinoff right our brother he's very into marvel as well loves yeah spider-man Spider guy and he was saying that so shameek moore plays miles morales and apparently it's there's rumors that he's gonna be the lead in a live action Spider Verse movie. I don't know. I Disney it, it, loves live action. Why? Why? All these live action remakes spinoffs. They're just right. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I think what makes Spider Verse so good is the animation. That's what yeah. makes it stand out. That's what makes it unique, and it gives it this X factor yeah. that makes the movies really Completely special agree. compared to all the other Spider Mans and Marvel movies. Completely agree. So I just think making live action, what then, what about it is Spider-Verse, you know what I mean? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. More money, more money. More money. Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Tough. That'll be interesting if that It'll actually be. becomes a thing. Yeah, we'll see. And, I mean, of course, my biggest question is whether we're going to see Tom Holland again as Spider-Man. Right? Because I thought the last Spider-Man movie he was in was amazing. I mean, it crushed. It was, like, it was the good. first movie post-pandemic to, like crossover i think a billion dollars it was office. good so it was it crushed and it was really good but like you said i think he's done right which is probably like a big mistake so i feel like they need to find a way to like keep him i know so yeah we're watching the future of the mcu i don't mm -hmm. know if it'll be it's up in the air. as good I don't know. but we'll see i'll we'll see. if it gets good reviews i'll check out the movies yeah all right, so that's our review of Spider Verse. It wasn't <laughs> the positive, most positive. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, we don't need You're to not love everything. Like everything you watch. I yeah. thought it was pretty good. 
there were just some really critical errors, you know, that I yes. that affected how I liked it overall. Okay. But but yeah, so regardless, we hope you enjoyed our review of this yes, episode. Yes, hope you enjoyed. Yes. Don't forget to follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, on Instagram. YouTube. Yes, YouTube as well. Sisters and on Instagram at Sisters Who Watch. Great. Thanks y'all for listening. Bye. Bye.